Microsoft has come up with yet another coding model, but this time this is with a unique feature. This next coder is a code editing language model family based on Quinn 2.5 coder that uses a new fine tuning approach called Selective Knowledge Transfer or SEAL KT. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. In this video, we are going to install this next coder locally and we are going to test it out on a real world use case. Unlike standard fine tuning, which updates all the model weights, this new technique which is seal kt selectively adjusts only the most important weight for code editing tasks helping preserve the base model's existing capabilities while adding new ones the model comes in 7 billion 14 billion and 32 billion parameter sizes and is specifically designed for code editing tasks rather than code generation from scratch also they have shared few benchmarks and according to those, the next coder 32 billion has shown performance comparable to GPT 4.0 on coding benchmarks. A context window is 32K tokens and it can handle diverse code editing requirements like bug fixes, refactoring and code improvement. Now let's set up this next coder and we will be testing it out on a real world use case. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Coda. And by the way, I'm going to go with the 7 billion one, but you can go with 14 or 32 billion easily by following the same commands. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let's install all the prerequisites which include torch transformers and few other tidbits and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and everything is installed now let's try this out so first step, let's download the model from Hugging Face. For that, I have just written this small script, which is importing the transformers and torch. And then it is downloading this next coder 7 billion model with its tokenizer. So let me run this script from terminal. And you can see that the model is now being downloaded. So let's wait. There are seven shards of it, by the way. And the model is now downloaded as you can see now test it out so what i'm going to do for the real world scenario is first i'm going to show you a buggy code and then we will edit that code by fixing with this next coder model now i have created this github repo git repo where i have this flask application and i have on purpose introduced a syntax error and then there are a few tests which we are going to run to see what this code does so you see this is actual application and these are few of the tests right now there are few bugs in it so let me run this here so when i'm going to run this app.py there you go so it has found the syntax error in the application for example if you run the test on it so you see the test has failed as you can see because it has found this error and this is the application which we want to fix now with the help of next coder so let me clear the screen and show you how to fix it with this model now in order to fix this code i have written this script which is all it is doing it is loading the model it is going into our buggy code and then it is providing this prompt to the model that you need to provide me the corrected version and that's about it it is loading the model with the buggy code and then model is generating the output which is a fixed code and then we are getting it back that's all we are doing so if i go back and run this wait for it and then let's see if it is able to fix all of the stuff so it is loading the model 
and while it does that let's also check the vram consumption so just around i would say under 18 gig of vram it is consuming okay let's close it and if i go back it has already finished it and this is a code it has fixed here so if i just grab this code and i'm just going to copy this but there are three to four issues here so which i am going to check i'll go to my vs code let's go here and then replace it with this code let's save it and let's go back and let's clear it and i'm going to check if it has fixed it there you go so the fixed code is now working the same app.py and if you go to the fixed code prim uh, primarily what it has done it has fixed all of these issues of syntax error and then it has also added the uh, divided by zero exception handling it has added try catch block it has added proper http status code for 400 and stuff and that is why you can see that our application is now working so beautiful beautiful model from microsoft in this term and in the next test i am going to try out this flutter code which is a which has few bugs and i will be using this next coder to fix this flutter application i already have written the code so let me run this as usual it is going to load the model and this is a buggy code model is being now downloaded let's see if it is able to do that and just look at the speed of next coder too it has gone through the whole code and let's see what it could do here so it is generating the fixed code now after loading it and i will let it run to show you what exactly it produces there you go so if i just scroll up here so it has corrected the code there you go now you can see that already the code looks pretty complete yes it has fixed the bug of null safety it has added the check for uh, this is safety check and then it has also added the age validation email validation form validation and then at the same time it has maintained the essence of my code the, and the original class structure is also there and it has also done pretty good error handling throughout the code and of course you can change your prompt to make it more uh, solid like you can ask it to fix a specific bug or follow the you know the structure of the code as per your own company's policies a lot of things you can do it is very very customizable so i think microsoft has done a fairly good job there and remember this is just a 7 billion parameter model 32 billion is even better as per benchmarks but i think for day-to-day -day use this one is really awesome that's it please like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as it helps a lot thank you for watching